My name is Howard Edwards, but most people call me Choco or Taljum. I was born in Marupna and a man of the stolen generations. I was seven year old when my four brothers, sister and I were taken away in 1956 and made wards of the state. I was sent to the Tirana Reception Centre before being sent to Ballarat Orphanage, where my mother lived close by and visited when she could. She was a real problem to the superintendent because of the way we were being treated, so they sent us back to Tirana then to a hillside, then to Salvation Army Boys Own Box Hill, then back to Tirana where I was separated from my brothers and sent to Kilmany Park Farm near Sale. Wherever they sent me I was abused and beaten, I would run away, then I was caught the final time and taken to Russell Street. They put the lights on me and all the police implanted my face in their mind as a target for harassment. I was put into Pentridge Prison for 12 months. It was 1966, I was 17. In 1967, I joined the Merchant Navy. These were good times. I sailed to Tasmania many times, but when I was back in Melbourne, I would be picked up constantly by the police. So I sailed around the world, but when I arrived in Southampton, I was refused entry as custom believed I was a Pakistani or West Indian trying to enter through the back door. I had to stay on a boat which brought me back to Australia. I wasn't in Melbourne long before I was arrested for vagrancy and perjury. I got two years for perjury and three months for vagrancy. In the late 60s and early 70s, Gertrude Street was very much alive. It was a meeting place for us mob, the housing, the co-ops, the legal service, the Aboriginal Health Centre, and in the buy workshop was a place to fill in time and have a meal. My oldest brother, Kennedy, he was chair of housing. I was on the board of Aboriginal Health Service. But then the police began to target everyone. I remember police dogs being set loose in the lounge of the Builders Arms Hotel. They drove around picking up anyone and throwing them in the paddy wagon. Then drugs came in. There were a few deaths. Some had guns, knifings. There were tough times, but we still had good times together. This was Gertrude Street. After 10 years of institutions and the next 13 years in and out of prisons, with abuse, drugs, alcohol, cops, it was time to get out. I went to Adelaide searching for my daughter. Coming home wasn't easy, but now, through the support of family and friends, my journey of healing continues. I joined the Mayor Healing Centre, ACES Choir, and have been involved in the Stolen Generation Victoria since 2005, which took me to Canberra in 2007 for the government's apology. To the stolen generations, I say the following. As Prime Minister of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of the Government of Australia, I am sorry. On behalf of the Parliament of Australia, I am sorry. And I offer you this apology without qualification. I said to Rudd, it was a long time coming not without treaty or compensation. It's all a question of balance, Mr Rudd, isn't it? And he ushered me inside. And you can catch me at drive time with Taljum 2 time on 3KND 1503am on your radio dial. Cool and deadly. City lights are driving me crazy As I walk the lonely streets of old Fitzroy How I wish that I was back there in the dream time In the country where there's always peace and quiet